Welcome, we're here with Doug Fabian. He's the editor of Successful ETF Investing, and you may hear him on the radio with his own radio show, which you've been doing for now how many years? I've been doing radio for 13 years now, but my show on ETFs is, is brand new. We've just been doing it six months. Successful ETF Investing, Correct. It's a newsletter. <laughs> anyway, Doug, you've, one, of your, one of your missions, if you will, is to educate people about ETFs, because you found that people still own mutual funds, and uh, there's a big market for ETFs that's still untapped, even though people should know about it by now. Absolutely, and, and John, you, you remember my dad, uh, Dick Fabian, he got, he got on the no-load mutual fund bandwagon in the late sure. 70s. And I feel like the ETF is the no-load mutual fund of today. And, and the key is that individual investors are really not aware of just the cost differential. If we can use the analogy, how would you like to get gas for 50 cents a gallon? Would you drive across town? And everybody, of course I would. <laughs> That's the cost <laughs> differential between the average mutual fund and the low cost Vanguard or State Street exchange traded funds. So I'm really encouraging people to really understand the cost of their investments. And then ETF investing is a little different than mutual funds. You do need to open up a brokerage account. You do need to understand that there's a bid and an ask, a price at which you would buy the ETF, a price at which you would sell the ETF. If you're dealing with the large ETFs, it doesn't matter. There's so much volume that they always stay on their benchmark. But there's so much great innovation going on in the world of exchange-traded funds. That's what I'm excited about here today and, and what I'm talking about here at The Money Show. You know, when you buy a mutual fund, it's like you hire a general to, who goes out and fights for you. But with ETFs, it's like choosing individual weapons that you go out and do your own fighting with, if you take that analogy. You can use that analogy. And, and I, I like to talk about how there are core positions in one's portfolio, and then there are tactical positions in right. one's portfolio. And you can't look at ETFs as being all the same. Because there's an ETF like VTI, that's the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF, owns every single stock. And then there's the uh, uh, Healthcare Spider ETF that has 60 stocks just in healthcare. So I want to overweight my portfolio to healthcare. Well, that's an easy way to do it, but you have to understand there's a difference between those two ETFs. So if you're a U.S. investor and you want to have a standard allocation, uh, whatever, 60, 40, 80, 20, something like that, would you, would you, would you buy the SPY then? Or, or would you go into a you know, small cap ETF or a mid cap ETF? How I, would you get representation I, of the U.S. market? I, I believe that the total stock market ETFs are the best way to go. Okay. Uh, and just getting that core position. But right now, most, pe most people here at The Money Show have their core U.S. holdings. What I'm talking about here at this show is the international opportunities. Gotcha. And exchange traded funds, so much innovation, so much low cost product, uh, you really want to be uh, aware of what's available. And the, uh, the, my simple idea is VWO, which is the Vanguard Emerging Market ETF, 15 basis points. I don't know how Vanguard does it for 15 basis points, but you can put $100,000 to work and it's going to cost you 150 bucks a year in management fees. You get 1,000 a, a stocks, 23 countries, one security. It's great. Right, right, right. And so that's one of my one of my core holdings here that I'm talking about uh, at the show, and I believe people should know about it. Cool. Invest smarter, invest cheaper with ETFs. Thanks, Doug. Thank you, John.